Hey everybody and thank you so much for choosing to watch Life's Magical Journey. I'm Life and this is the safest space for us to learn, grow, and share our experiences when it comes to our spiritual journey. So as you're watching the video, please consider subscribing to the channel. In today's video, we are talking all about how to stop arguing for our limitations. You know, if you're anything like me, you have been the type of person who would, I mean, argue down for your own limitations. So I'm going to give you a recent example. I'm not so much like this anymore because I've been practicing the art of letting go. And if you haven't caught up on the series that we've been doing here on the channel, this video is episode seven of that series. We're going to put this in that playlist. I'll put the playlist in the description box and I'll also pin it to the top of the comments as well so you have easy access to go watch that playlist. So we've been talking about letting go of limiting beliefs, how to use positive self-talk, how to practice, start to practice self-love and self-adoration and just speak with kindness and, and motivation and love and encouragement to ourselves. All right. So that just kind of sums up some of the stuff we've been talking about and about how to let go of limiting beliefs and this I feel is pivotal in that discussion because we oftentimes will argue for our limitations especially when we're talking to other people so for example how many times has someone said hey how you doing and you start out with the negative stuff why? Why are we doing that to ourselves? Why are we, oh, well, you know, we start out with what we can't pay this month or, you know, what our kids ain't doing right or, you know, um, what the government is up to now. And, you know, those are the types of things that we're, that most of us, you know, I'm not talking to you if it's not meant for you, but most of us tend to kind of go that negative route right away and and tell people the negative things that are going on in our lives and so that's one way that we automatically like it's like we're programmed to argue for our limitations another thing is when we're talking about something maybe a dream a hope or something that we're something that we're aiming for when it comes to our lives like for example I was talking to my daughter the other day on the phone and I was talking about getting on TikTok. Then I immediately started to list the reasons why I shouldn't be on TikTok. Like, and I down, I've downloaded TikTok. I don't have it yet. I haven't signed into it. I literally just downloaded it and I ain't even signed into it. But I immediately started to like argue for why I didn't belong there. But I know that TikTok does have my type of content. They have spiritual and enlightening and um, positive things on TikTok as well. And I do know that a lot of people of all ages are on TikTok, but I started to argue for the opposite of that. And I, and I know that that's not altogether true, but I also know that TikTok will be a great way to get my message out there in front of more people. So it's kind of like, I just immediately started to argue for that. I immediately started to say why I shouldn't be on it. And a lot of times we do that to ourselves, even subconsciously. So this is why I'm bringing it up because a lot of us don't even realize we're doing it. I'm too fat, I'm too ugly, I'm too tall, I'm too skinny, I'm too old, I'm too young. You're not none of that, you are perfect. And if you come up with the idea to do something, that is likely an inspired action. We talk ourselves out of these things very easily, very easily. And I think it has everything to do with the fact that we have been programmed to do just that. We have been programmed to grow up, you know, be an adult. We may or may not go to school, but we definitely get signed up to work for somebody else. We definitely immediately want to get married and have kids. Like those three things, it's like you've made it. You know, if you, if you have a decent job and you're married and have kids, how many times have you heard, oh, how's Sarah doing? Oh, good girl. She just had another baby. Why is that good? Why? I mean, I'm not saying it's bad. I'm sorry, Sarah. <laughs> I'm not saying it's bad, but 
I just want to, for me personally, I'd love it if I heard more of, oh, you know, Sarah, she's doing great. She just started her own business. You know, she's writing a book. She's living her dream. She's traveling most of the year now. She loves it. She's so happy. You know, not, oh, she just, you know, she just had another baby. She got another job or, you know, she's working, you know. Anybody who knows me knows that I don't really promote working for somebody else. Like, why? Why? When you could be making 10 times the amount working for yourself. You know, there is a learning curve to it. I'm no genius when it comes to, you know, there I go, arguing for my limitations. <laughs> I'm gonna leave that in because that is a perfect example okay I was just about to argue for why I'm not that good at it like that's not we need to stop doing that <laughs> we definitely need to stop doing that I just gave you a perfect example of how it just flows out of us naturally and I but I caught myself so that's what we're gonna talk about today is when you when you catch yourself you have to be aware like we have been it's everything that we've been talking about it's things that we have to really dig deep and find awareness with regard to these things when we hear ourselves speaking negatively about ourselves we have to pull that back we got to stop in mid conversation I mean in mid conversation and stop like when I was talking to my daughter and I was talking about how I couldn't and wouldn't and why and all that I stopped myself I straight up was like oh wait I'm arguing for my own limitations why am I saying that stuff why am I saying the negative stuff that could happen if I go on to TikTok you know what I mean and so why would I be telling you oh I'm no genius when it comes to no I am a genius <laughs> I am brilliant when it comes to business I am successful I am a powerful business strategist I'm amazing at social media marketing you see how I should be talking to myself and it doesn't matter if you know you feel like you don't believe it you can't see it with your eyes let go of your current circumstances your current circumstances is already the past that stuff has already manifested. It's already there. Concern yourself with the things of the future. Concern yourself with being a powerful author, being a published uh, author, being a public speaker, being an artist, being a, a, an amazing jeweler. If you wanna make jewelry, whatever it is that you wanna do, claim it, claim it and live within that today. Go ahead and give yourself permission to be that person. All right, so that's what I want you to do. Remember that you are powerful. Remember that you create your own reality. Remember that the things that you think and the things that you feel about yourself, Neville Goddard, the feeling is the secret. If you haven't studied any of Neville Goddard's work, I suggest that you start there because that is, where is that? The feeling is the secret, what you give off and feel about yourself. So it starts with your thoughts because your thoughts make you feel a certain way. If you allow it, we've talked about that in the past, in the past episode right so we've talked about what we think wow this camera just shook I wonder if we see that on the video that's interesting uh, I didn't kick it or anything um, but we've talked about what we think how what we think makes us feel and then the feeling is the secret to these things manifesting in our lives if you think about it everything that you have currently you already knew you thought you was gonna have just that if you think about it. and that's why when I first started on this journey that's how I knew that law of attraction was a real thing that's how I knew that it was real because everything like I think I've said this in a couple of videos before it's like I know that I can make rent. I know that I can, and I'm not even working. I haven't worked in months, and I'm so grateful that I can't, that I am paying rent. Uh, every time I pay rent, I'm just like, wow, Lord, because I don't have a job, okay? But nevertheless, uh, just gratitude. Just, just stay in gratitude and see yourself in that future. What was I saying? I think I got distracted by this camera moving by itself. You know, just care about how you feel. Stay in your meditation. If you're not meditating on a daily basis, at least once in the morning, I suggest that you start. It's really healthy for you and it's it's gonna change your life, all right? So make sure to clear your mind as much as you can. If you need to take a break at work, you know, take five minutes and, and do a quick meditation and just get, get back in touch with yourself. And then when you have those negative thoughts or those thoughts that are, you know, you're arguing for your own limitations, rein that back in. 
you know, um, stop mid conversation and just refocus, reach, change your, change your dialogue with yourself and others. And then just focus on positive, feel happy, make sure that you are embrace happiness. Like it's okay to be happy. It's all right. Like everybody, it seems like we're trained more so, like I said in the beginning, we're trained more so to talk about the negative things and, and people love hearing that. People are okay with that. Nobody stops you in conversation and says, why are you telling me all these negative things? Everyone's like, mm -hmm, girl, and even agreeing with you. Yeah, me too. And blah, blah, blah. Like, no, that's not what we need. We need to focus on positive things. So guys, if you have gotten anything out of this video, I want you to comment down below with the things that you are going to be motivating yourself and, and, and encouraging yourself towards. I also want you to share this video with another friend or family member that you think might need to hear this message because if you hear what I'm saying and you know that you've heard that before, you might want to just send this um, this message and say, hey, this really this really struck me and I just wanted to share it with you. You know, you don't have to say, hey, you negative. <laughs> You'll be talking that negative stuff, you know, you don't have to say that, but share it with someone that you think might might need it and then i'm gonna put a couple videos up you can either watch this single video or you can click into the letting go playlist that i talked about earlier i'm gonna put that right up top and then as usual i'll see you next time